Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create your database. As I explained in the first lesson, a Joomla website includes the files that make Joomla run and your content that primarily resides in a database. We need to create this database on your hosting account, but this process varies depending on the features that have been provided by your web host. These days, most hosting accounts include some sort of control panel where you manage your email accounts, view statistics and so on. The control panel includes a database section where you can do this, and I'll show you these steps in this video. If, however, your host only provides access to the PHP My Admin tool, skip this video and instead watch Lesson 4C. Finally, if you have no control panel access, but you do have root access where you manage your site via a command line, jump to Lesson 4D. There are a number of different control panels with different layouts, so this lesson has to be a little more generic than the others. If you really get stuck, contact your host, as many will be happy to create a database for you. I'm using a control panel called cPanel. And we start off by logging into the control panel using the details provided by your host. Look for a section labelled Databases. In my case it's here, and the option I want is My SQL Databases. Clicking that brings up this page. There are three settings to configure. Firstly, there is the database itself. Choose a name, type it in, and click Create Database. It doesn't matter what you name your database, and I'm going to name mine Video Demo. Note that my control panel added my site username to the database name. If this happens to you, note that the database name is all of this. For example, in my case, the database name is Joomla VI underscore video demo, not just video demo. You need to make a note of this name somewhere because this needs to be entered later in the installation process. Now go back and create a user for the database. In cPanel, this is further down the page and I will make mine demo. The user needs a password, so enter something here as well. For the best security, it is a good idea to choose a password that's different to your FTP password. You might need to repeat the password. Then click Create User. Go back to check what was done, and in my case, you'll see that cPanel has once again added a prefix to the username. So in this case, the database username is Joomla VI underscore demo. Once again, make a note of this somewhere. There is one last step. Users need to be assigned to databases. If you have a look at the database that was created, there is nothing listed under Users. To assign a user to a database, look for something like Add user to database. In this case, there are two databases set up on this site, the one that was just created and one that was already there. It's important, if this is the case, to choose the correct user and match it to the correct database. So the user that we need is Joomla VI underscore demo, and we want to add them to the database we created, which was Joomla VI underscore video demo. Click Add. When assigning a user to a database, you need to specify what that user is allowed to do with the database. With Joomla, you need to choose All Privileges. And then click Make Changes. Now when you go back, you can see that there is a user listed next to the database. 
You don't really need to understand what you've just done, but it is important to realise that the database user that was just created has nothing to do with accessing your Joomla content. These steps are only necessary as part of the installation process. This concludes the database setup lesson. The next two videos discuss how to create a database using different methods. So skip ahead to lesson 4E to learn the final installation steps. Hi, have you joined our newsletter yet? This is the best Joomla resource on the planet. Not only do you get great Joomla advice and offers, but when you subscribe, you'll get our most important tutorials for free. Yep. All you have to do is subscribe and we'll give you free access to four tutorials on how to back up and restore your Joomla site. This is a limited offer so head through to the site using the link or button on this page and look for the newsletter link. Now you have your database set up, head over to Lesson 4E.